Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and crypto markets are getting a little bit pumpy right now. But hey, that's not a complaint. That's what we're here for, isn't it? And check this out. XRP has been the best performing top 10 cryptocurrency over the last 24 hours. At the time I'm recording this, uh, it's, it's up 9.64% uh, over the last 24 hours. And if you want to look at your screen, you can see here's the top 10 cryptocurrencies. And just for frame of reference, at the time I'm recording this, it is 10.21 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday, November 7th. Also, Ethereum today hit another all-time high, bringing its market cap to $559 billion. And if XRP were to hit that level, um, I don't know what the exact number would be, but you'd be seeing XRP at a price of over $11. And don't forget... Last market cycle, Ethereum and XRP peaked out at about the same uh, top market cap, just at different points in the cycle. So I want to share with you perspective from a number of different analysts, and I, I will say this too here at the outset. I'm seeing even more talk about XRP from other top analysts that I follow, and um, that's fascinating to see. There will be, they say, another massive impulse for XRP before a very notable correction and then further continuation of the upside. And so this massive impulse, how high? Depends on which analyst you talk to, but uh, suffice it to say, they tend to agree that the, the next huge impulse up uh, is going to take XRP at least to its all-time high level, if not a bit higher than that. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. That's it. At the time I record, this XRP is at $1.28. That is its 24-hour high, by the way. You've got Bitcoin at $65,313. So glad to see it up, too. It's up 4.85% over the last 24 hours. And good old Ethereum uh, hit a new all-time high today, $4,733.41. And at the time of recording this, it's only about six bucks shy of that. So you could see yet another high, <laughs> all-time high for Ethereum. And I love seeing this. I don't talk about Ethereum too much on this channel, but uh, I'm still watching it because I, I just, I, I have the suspicion that and don't, it just, I know it, it might seem wacky now because XRP is number seven in market cap, but I have a suspicion, especially if we do get legal clarity in the form of settlement. So hopefully, because, well, I mean, you can get through full adjudication, but uh, you know, regarding the SEC versus Ripple case, if we get settlement, that could happen soon. And if that's the case, XRP will be right back up there where it belongs in terms of market cap in the number two or number three position. It should be somewhere up there. It really should. And I know most of us probably feel that it should be more like number one or two. But still, <laughs> you know, anywhere up there would be a bit more reasonable. And so I'm sitting here watching the money flow into Ethereum first. And I'm just thinking, okay, XRP will have its turn. That's the way that I'm looking at this. We'll, we'll see if that comes to pass. No way to know for sure. We're, we're learning together, right? But that's one of the reasons, a huge reason why I do enjoy following Ethereum with a secondary reason being that I actually hold it. Yes, I'm actually more interested in Ethereum price action thinking about it, what, might make, uh, what it might mean for XRP specifically. And so I tweeted this out just a little bit earlier. We may soon know the answers to two of life's biggest questions. Number one, when moon? And number two, when Lambo? <sighs> We might be finding out soon. It's nice to see the markets doing what they're doing here. And take a look at this from a chart analyst, Leb Crypto. I got two comments to share with you. The first one's from October 31st. The second one is from today. It's a continuation. So the one from October 31st reads as follows. Assuming Bitcoin remains bullish for Q4, uh, then he writes uh, in parentheses, first month of Q4 certainly has. Then here's a very simple and reasonable way to speculate on XRP's end-of-year target. This is consistent also with my high time frame projection since 2019. $13, for least talking about XRP or $13, is a major take profit level for me. And then today he put out the following tweet. Slowly, then suddenly, on track, hashtag XRP. And here's the chart that he shared associated with this. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? And that's how it goes, though. Like, for those of you that were around in 2017, uh, you, you know the drill. XRP traded sideways 
from uh, May until roughly mid-December 2017. Over half a freaking year. And then, seemingly out of nowhere, at least seemingly for people that weren't sufficiently paying attention and don't know how the hell markets work, uh, XRP went from 20-something cents up to uh, almost four, uh, almost $4. It's all-time high, uh, topping out January 4th, 2018. So slowly, a lot of range-bound action, but then suddenly, just out of nowhere, boom. And don't be surprised. That's that's just how it goes in crypto, my friends. Take a look at this from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the Blockchain Backer. He wrote, Bitcoin just had the highest weekly candle close in history, above $63,300. Folks, the highest in history. We're in a bear market, right? This must be it. These are signs of a bear market. Those bears over the last several months, they were right, and I was wrong. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's even better, though. You know, Blockchain Backer also tweeted out this. Altcoin market cap had its highest weekly candle close in history, closing above $1.5 trillion for the first time. And then in a separate tweet, he wrote, which was also the first time for the altcoin market cap to close above the weekly high set back in May. Uh, folks, you see the direction things are going. So I, I really do hope that you are uh, sufficiently positioned regarding your crypto holdings because uh, the time to add uh, any crypto uh, to your portfolio on the cheap is about over. It's, it's, been, it's been like that for some time, but my gosh, do you see the direction that we're going? Uh, then there was this. Just Bitcoin and Ethereum, question mark? This is the blockchain backer again. The market says otherwise. The rest of the market, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, closed the week above $1 trillion. Look at this. This is the uh, crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a, it's a sight to behold. A, thing, a, a true thing of beauty, in fact. Uh, now, take a look at this. I got a couple tweets from chart analyst Harry who is very well known for having uh, called the beginning of the biggest XRP bull run in history in middle of December 2017, and also called the very tippy top on January 4th, when XRP hit its all-time high, near $4. Uh, he tweeted out the following on November 2nd, and then I've got an update from today just hours ago. So the, the tweet from November 2nd was about Bitcoin, he wrote the following. Major support unbroken over weekly charts. Next target for Bitcoin, roughly $74,000 in my opinion. And folks, so that was that was just five days ago. Now we are seeing, at least at the time I'm recording this, we are seeing a trend to the upside. Don't mind seeing it one little baby boo bit. And then what did he tweet out today just hours ago? Bitcoin, still staying the course. Probably this week now, then for new highs and a trip to $70,000 levels. And of course, we want this. We definitely want this as XRP holders. Even if you don't hold Bitcoin, uh, you'll want this because the money starts at the top with Bitcoin and then it flows into all of the altcoins and that's just the way that it works. So I want Bitcoin to go as high as possible. And if it stays number one for this market cycle in terms of market cap or forever, I don't care because I have my opportunity and I understand the way that, just in a general sense, that money flows through this space. Uh, and then there was this from uh, chart analyst and Bessie tweeted out the following 13 hours ago. XRP, they don't know why you suddenly bounce 6%. Only those who study know the secret. Superior parabola. And so that was back then. Now we know that it's closer to 10% up, XRP is, over the last uh, over the last 24 hours. Uh, and, and so he's, I'm going to show you the chart that he's got here, but um, he is one of the analysts that um, from time to time shares that this, this it's, it looks, looks like, basically looks like a bowl. It shows uh, the price action of XRP going back several years. And he's been pointing out that uh, it's it's riding this curved line. And I've seen other analysts highlight this, including Leb Crypto, and there's one other that's escaping me. But I have seen at least three different analysts uh, share similar charts anyway. Maybe they, just, they dispute one another slightly over uh, exactly where the line should be drawn. But the concept, it's there from multiple analysts. And yes, indeed, this is the type of price action you want to see and will ultimately bounce up to, to the $10 plus region. That, that's what they're saying to expect. That's what they think is going to happen here. Uh, I just, I have a hard time imagining XRP wouldn't get at least up to those levels this market cycle. I mean, with how much money has already flown into the space and seeing how Ethereum's gone, I just, I'd be surprised if we didn't. Doesn't mean it's a guarantee. I do not know. 
Uh, but, and, and, you know, if we don't see the levels that sufficiently entice me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to freak out over it. I will hold however long it takes because I am Mr. Patient and I will outpatient anyone else. And that is what it takes to find success in these markets. As Warren Buffett has stated about the stock market, and it's true of crypto, the stock market is a mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. Folks, it's the same human psychology, regardless of whether you're talking about stocks or crypto. I will outpatient anyone because I understand where this is going. Uh, and then there was this. Here's a tweet from uh, Credible Crypto literally just yesterday. And I believe I, sh I shared it in my last video where I was talking about price. I think I did anyway. E either way, I definitely read it. I just, sometimes I can't remember what I actually put in videos because I read so much. I'm like, wait a minute, did I include it in the video? Did I not? But anyway, this was just yesterday. And uh, he's tweeting about Bitcoin here and wrote, now send her back to $65,000. And then he just retweeted that and wrote Bitcoin with the little emoji that's uh, got the little, you know, dart, a bullseye. Uh, and it's, it's not, I didn't know it was going to happen that, quite that quickly necessarily, but damn, he was right. Spot on. Uh, Credible Crypto is way more correct than incorrect. I think it's safe to say that. That's the reason he's got over a quarter million followers on Twitter now. He's got 260,500 followers now. Um, and then somebody asked Credible Crypto, do you still think XRP will reach $20 to $30? How likely do you think it might top at $10 to $13 instead? And Credible Crypto wrote the following. And listen up. This is this is cool. I, I, I hope this is accurate. I hope this ends up coming to pass. Here, I expect that, 10, the, that uh, $10 to $13 region to the top of this first major wave, then consolidation, then continuation to higher targets. And so he's been talking about XRP hitting $20 to $30, that, is that, that being the top for this market cycle for a long, long time. So if we're talking about a burst up at some point in the not-too-distant future to $10 to $13, uh, and that's not even where it ends, that would be amazing. I would absolutely love it. So yeah, there would be some painful consolidation, all sorts of people capitulating after a bunch of people FOMO in as it's running up when they should have just been paying attention prior to that, but you know, humans are humans. Uh, don't be surprised in the least if this happens. And we're going to experience it all together. No way to know for sure, but won't be surprised to see this. There's so much to be excited for, my friends. And then take a look at this tweet from chart analyst Pintoshi talking about Bitcoin. Uh, he writes, Prices built on top of the previous all-time high range from earlier in the year. This week looks great for up, up, up after yet another range low retest. Really nothing to be done here but just continue uh, to sit on hands. I, that's a beautiful thing. You know, the way I've looked at it for some time, I don't say it like this too frequently, but I feel like I, I'm, I'm getting paid to, like like crazy amounts of money thanks to XRP Appreciate. I'm getting paid to do nothing. And how awesome sauce is that? Like I'm getting paid to be patient. That's pretty much it, right? And I don't mind that. I can be patient. I understand how ridiculous people are in markets and how they emotionally buy and sell based on what's happening in the moment. And I have zero trouble uh, not responding like that. I am totally fine with this. I've held XRP for almost four entire years at this point. Never sold XRP one single time. Not once in my entire life. And I plan to, but... Uh, I just haven't responded to anything. And look at all of the volatility that's occurred over that time period. I've held through all of it, and it simply does not phase me. It did earlier on a bit, uh, but but just emotionally. Not that I wasn't responding even um, in terms of you know buying and selling based on XRP price action. But yeah, uh, earlier on, yeah, I did I did have some emotional responses. Thankfully, I didn't act on them. But uh, but no, I I haven't emotionally responded to the price action of XRP since uh, August of 2018. That was it. When uh, I had been dollar cost averaging in, and then it got down to as low as like 25 cents, and I was like, this doesn't feel good. And then I was just like, yeah, but wait a minute. I was like, Matt, shut the hell up. You know, <laughs> you, you shut up, Matt. Quit being stupid because you know <laughs> that uh, this is how uh, typical retail speculators respond. And that was the last time I ever felt that. After that, I didn't even feel anything because it doesn't make sense. Like, I just, I don't have emotions because they're stupid. Emotions are stupid, so I just don't have them. I'm just um, so he said, do, do what you want. I'm not telling you to buy or sell or hold anything. I'm, I'm just saying, don't use your feels to make important financial decisions. That, that typically doesn't go well. So man, this is so exciting here. Slowly, then suddenly. Markets getting pumpy. Um, my gosh. It's just, what, how fortunate are we all to be in crypto right now? 
There's nothing like this has ever happened in the history of mankind. There's never been this type of opportunity. And here we are, living during the time of the advent of cryptocurrencies, uh, re returns asymmetrical to everything else on the planet that you could invest in, and we get it, you know? My gosh, and so many people lose money in these markets because they don't know what the hell they're doing, but there is such a thing as personal responsibility. And so for me, I just understand some basic stuff. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't take a sophisticated approach. I don't try and get in and out of positions. I just buy and then I don't do anything until I'm enticed to sell, which for me has been never at this point. I've never been enticed to sell. I've never cashed out to United States dollar for, dollars for any cryptocurrencies. I've never been enticed. Now, when I am, and I think that finally might happen soon, uh, much sooner than later, you better bet I'm gonna. Oh, absolutely. But that's how I look at all this here. What a crazy time to be in crypto. Some cool stuff here, folks. So let me know how you're feeling below, but I <laughs> couldn't be more excited to be here. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.